Whoa. Okay. Hi guys. Here I come out. Good afternoon, beautiful people. Welcome to Wilder Path Farm. It is another day on the farm. I am currently in the goat barn and Peach still hasn't had her kids yet. Uh, just to preface this video. Um, she hasn't had her kids yet. She is currently here munching on some hay. We look about the same as yesterday. There isn't much of a difference, but um, yeah. I think that like I, this reminds me of the times where I was first like had a very first mirror in full and you're like, hmm, she gonna full now? Do I know anything at all? But I think you just have to like same as horses, you just have to roll with it and um of course, I'm anxiously waiting to see those goat kids, um, but I also want her to have a very safe delivery. So if that means that we gotta wait, then that means we gotta wait. But I think I watched something where they said that the ligaments get so soft that the tail crooks sideways and she's constantly crooking this way. So, yeah, you can see down, it's crooked that way. So, I don't know, that's not normal for her. I don't think that she has her ligaments. If they are still there, then they're very, very faint. Um, but like her whole hind end feels very, very soft. So the vulva is very swollen and very like a, I don't know. It's very squishy, it's very, it's dilating. And her udder's still filled, um, about the same as yesterday. I'd say no more, no less. Um, I have seen her act a, a little bit more strange today, kind of looking off into the distance, looking at her belly, looking at the fence line, looking away, looking at her belly. Um, while I was doing the chicken netting, that's like literally just next door. Um, and then she disappeared into the scope barn and I thought, oh, I should probably go check on her. She came in here to eat. So obviously I don't know anything about goats. <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, goats can be tricky, man. Like goats can be goats and uh, everyone has their opinions on how to tell when a goat is ready to kid and um, every goat is different. Um, I'm also no expert at all. The only thing I have to compare it to is horse foaling, which I've done a few of those. Um, not just one, a few. Hi. So, <clears throat> who knows? Like, it might be similar in some stages, and then... This is what I would call for mare and full, like the faking it stage. Um, or like the Braxton, hit, Braxton Hicks contractions. Um, or it could be like pre pre labor. Who knows? I set up this net over here so that the chickens could like fertilize this area and help grow grass. Now my plan slash idea is I'm gonna throw like their feed um, all on the bare spots because um, if you're new we had new septic put in so all of this is destroyed ground so we need to fix it 
um, or at least try to before the septic people are gonna like we would have to get them back before the wedding but we'll see for right now this is where we got the chickens we put a big pile of loop here so that they could pick through it eat what they want they also have their green and water inside the coop and then they have all this ground to kind of scratch up eat the bugs and all that to start raining today in a few minutes here. But um, Amora lets me come up and snuggle with her when she's taking her afternoon nap. So I take advantage of it. Sometimes she'll lean back and just plop her head on my lap. Again, I just leave it up to her, but Thanks. Thanks for being so careful around me, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's my boot. That's my boot. So once she gets up, I get up. I wouldn't just do this around any other horse. Um, you don't want to do this with any horse that you don't live with and know really well, but because <laughs> um, you could get stepped on. It's, it just is what it is. But yeah, I love taking an opportunity to snuggle with my girl because a lot of my attention right now is going to the goats because Peach is really close to kidding, so. That just is what it is, but um, it's nice to be able to give her some love and attention. Honey's over there. I usually spend a little bit of time at night grooming honey. Don't touch my ponytail. Don't pull that. Don't, don't pull that. That's my head. Um, yeah, I, I spend some time at night grooming honey and giving her attention that way. And then I spend like literally a couple of minutes here sitting with Amora, snuggling her, petting her, all that. But yeah, we're enjoying our time together. Mud season doesn't have much riding because we don't have our outdoor arena put in yet, so it's mostly grooming and cuddling. Hey honey bunny, you want some snuggles too? Put it in your forehead. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. I can't wait till the barn. We're gonna be building them a nice big barn in here, um, 30 by 60. And we're gonna take out part of this fence line here and put it in, in as a part of their winter pasture. Cause this is only their winter pasture. They're gonna have like a huge, huge pasture down there. <clears throat> so since Peach is then showing signs of being in like actual labor, I've, hi buddy. Okay, you ready to come with me? We gotta soak some food first, okay? 
I left Zeus in here while I was doing some stuff outside because I can't always watch him. Um, and I can't leave him currently even tied in with the goats um, outside because just Culver is very protective of Peach right now. So not a good situation for him learning, period. Um, <clears throat> And I don't want him just locked in a stall all day. So he's got this garage to roam around while I can't watch him for 15, 20 minutes. And then we're going to go outside and play. Hey, dude. Yeah? Hey, little dude. Come on. No, those aren't for you. Buddy. Let's go play outside. Nighttime food is soaking. Come on, let's go. Zeus, stay here, buddy. No, come on. Come here, go boy. Yeah. It's time for your walk. Come on, let's go. Come on. Get some energy out. Let's get some energy out, bud. Good boy. Update back in the barn. She's just laying here. She's nudging her belly, looking at her belly a lot. Oh. I look like it hurt. We'll see, it's a nice rainy afternoon. She doesn't seem too uncomfortable, but. I've done everything that I needed to do today, so thinking I might chill out here with her for a little bit. Just sitting on a horse blanket. And might chill in here for a little bit with her. Grunting apparently. We're not happy that it's raining outside. <laughs> it's raining outside. And they kicking you, mama. They're kicking you. Yeah, they're kicking you. You poor thing. Yeah.
definitely seeing them pick her. I'm gonna go grab my kit and move it in here for now. I'll be back. Please stay here.